Hi, it's Tom from Green Shorts, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to take this old saucer and pot and make them into a backyard composting system. This is a very simple project. It's gonna take you probably 45 minutes to do it. Let's get started. You can probably tell that I've used this pot and saucer before. So in a sense, this is a reuse project. And it's adaptive in that we're using these things for something different than they were initially intended. So basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna dig a hole in the ground, we're gonna partially bury the pot, and then we're gonna use the saucer, which is actually oversized for this pot, it's for the bigger size pot, and we're gonna use this as a lid. And to aid our microbial activity and bugs and insects and worms that are gonna help us with the composting of our kitchen scraps, leaves, and such stuff that we put in here. We're gonna perforate the sides of this pot that are below the ground so those bugs can move in and out of our compost. We're actually also gonna line the hole with some hay that I'm sitting on here to give the bugs a little habitat outside of the composting area. And lastly, we're gonna put a hole here in the lid to allow any rainwater that it captures to go down into our composter. We don't want to overdo that though. We just need one little hole there to do that because I don't want to create any way for odors necessarily to come out of our system. We'll also put a couple more holes right in the rim here because some of the bugs that we're gonna be using in this system or that may find our composter on their own are gonna to wanna to eventually get out. And so a couple holes around the top are gonna to allow them to do that and they'll be small enough and inaccessible for critters like say a rat or a squirrel that might wanna get into our compost. It'll keep them out because it'll be hidden up inside this crevice. Tools for the job include a pointed shovel and a cordless drill with a medium sized drill bit and a one and a half inch hole saw. All right, so our first step is to perforate our pot. And for that, we're gonna be using a one and a half inch hole saw to create a series of holes around the edge here, about halfway up the pot. For the part, again, that's gonna be below grade, below ground. Let's get the drill set up for that. So I'm gonna do two rolls of holes here around the pot. One quick note, there's no polymer number on the pot or the saucer, so I can't recycle the scraps. If I knew which polymer, which plastic this was, then those scraps could potentially be recycled. So note to manufacturer, label all your plastics. Now that I got my perforated pot, side holes in addition to the bottom holes, let me add my few little escape holes to the side here, our drip hole, and then we're ready to install it into the ground. So I'm gonna put about six escape holes around the side, and I wanna drill through the top edge here as close to the top as possible because the, the bugs will walk around the top here to try and find their way out until they find a hole. But I wanna make sure that I don't pierce the outside of that lip because I want that to protect the opening to prevent critters from coming in. So the last element we need to drill is our one drip hole. And that will allow this whole top here inside this little lip to capture water and send it into the composter which will help with composting. So I found the perfect spot to dig a hole for my flower pot composter. This is already a natural area of the yard. This ground cover of leaves that's been here for several years ensures that I've already got some microbial activity in this soil. 
Not only that, but the stone that's here is going to prevent my wife from being able to see this thing from the kitchen window. So it's convenient enough to the house to be usable and yet still out of sight. All right, let's dig this hole. Now let's check and see if this fits. It's still a little snug, it's deep enough, but I really want the hole to have a little bit of air on the edges so I can stuff that with hay to create some extra habitat. Now I'm in Georgia and you might be surprised to see soil that looks like this. Actually we're in a, there's a creek bottom right over here and so this is wetland soil. I'll have to ask my geology friends to be sure about that but so before I put the pot in permanently I'm gonna put a little bit of hay down in the bottom, as well as a little bit of the ground cover, minus the sticks. Just that top layer of soil, sprinkle that in there, because that's where the bugs live. And now I'm gonna stuff the sides of the pot in the same manner. Put some hay in, So once I've got the hay stuffed in here pretty well, so it's up above the second row of holes, I'm going to backfill this with a little bit of dirt. And I'm going to pull the ground cover back up against the edge to cover the soil. Now to start off my composter, I'm gonna get some of that ground cover soil and mix that in there with some leaves from the ground. And I'm actually gonna leave that pile of soil here beside the composter. So that's a nice little primed base to wait for my first layer of kitchen scraps upon which I'll add some more soil and leaves, stuff from the area to bring more bacteria in there. So we'll put the lid on and we're done. Thanks for watching and as always, please subscribe for more Green Shorts DIY. I'm gonna go wash my hands. As always, our challenge to you, put your green on one leg at a time. Join the community by subscribing to our YouTube channel and help spread the green by liking our videos and sharing with your friends. GreenShortsDIY.com. That's shorts with a Z.